Alright, right here at Fort DeSoto Park. And we're going to go take a quick walk through this Fort DeSoto Quartermaster Storehouse Museum. Uh, it's been here since 1905. And uh, let's see what's inside here. This apparently was the, uh, um, so as you walk through this reconstruction of the original small storehouse devoted to the keeping of provisions for the troops here at the fort, you will experience what it was like to live and work here in Mullaki. Um So this is where they stored every, all the, the items. And there's some maps here on the wall depicting uh, the fort area. And here's a exploded cannonball from the Civil War, 1861 to 65. And then there was a fort out here called Dade, Port Dade, a Mount Key which you can take the ferry from here out there from Fort Soto and uh, you can spend the day out there and uh, and walk the old uh, fort area out there. There's not a lot of building buildings left out there, it's primarily just walkways. So there's a lot of just uh, primarily informational stuff in here. Some information here about the Spanish American War and how the fort here was used for that. And they basically they have a lot of pictures in here of the fort. Like this one here, them stoking the cannon or preparing it for firing. Here's a layout of the of the building surrounding the fort. It's the captain's quarters, the administration building, officers' quarters, the barracks. This was all out here. Water tower held 60,000 gallons. And uh, an artist rendering of the, uh, of the fort overhead. And they kind of go into here depicting out how hot it was out here, which dictated what they wore, which type of materials. They said flannel, kersey, or other woolen fabrics. And here's uh, some pictures of what the kids that were stationed out here with their parents, and some things that they did while they were out here. And here's uh, some old artillery. It was a target practice bomb. And they have some uh, artifacts here that were found 
out here or collected over the years or remnants of parts of the old fort, things that were in the fort. So anyways, come out and, uh, and see the Quartermaster Storehouse here at the at Fort DeSoto Park. There's a walking tour also on grounds. And right now let's uh, see if we can watch a video. By General Orders Number 43, War Department, dated April 4th, 1900, 613 acres of Muller Key received the name of Fort DeSoto in honor of Hernando de Soto, the Spanish explorer who nearly 400 years previously was commissioned by the King of Spain to undertake the conquest of Florida. To find out more about life at the fort, make a selection here. Daily life at Fort de Soto was lonely and difficult. There's little doubt that every member of the garrison at Fort de Soto looked forward to the day he would transfer. The isolation of the fort was one factor that made it an unpopular duty station. There was no telephone communication. Only the link with the outside world was just one daily boat to Tampa. The isolation was compounded by the lack of recreational facilities. Prior to construction of brick walkways, even walking was difficult. After an inspection in 1904, the commander of the Department of the Gulf, Brigadier General T.H. Barry, recommended that the sale of beer and light wines be permitted in the post exchange to add to the contentment and discipline of the garrison. The sunny, sandy beaches would have provided recreation for the men, except for the hordes of mosquitoes. The post commander said, if this post is to continue as a station, life for those concerned should at least be made bearable. It was many years after Fort DeSoto ceased to be an active post before the mosquito problem was solved.
Fort DeSoto today is more than an intriguing historical landmark. It has evolved into a family-oriented vacation destination. To learn more about Fort DeSoto Park's amenities, please make a selection from the following. Historic Fort DeSoto has this country's last surviving carriage-mounted seacoast mortars, as well as the last two 1898 Model 6-inch guns. These last two guns were brought from Fort Dade on Egg Monte in 1980, took two years to refurbish, and were mounted at Fort DeSoto in 1982. Tours of Fort DeSoto, built in 1898, are available for groups by appointment. There's also a self-guided historical trail. Fort history and park literature may be obtained at the Fort and Park headquarters. The camping area offers 235 sites, each with water and electric hookup, picnic table, and charcoal grill. A camp store, two dumping stations, modern restrooms, two playgrounds, and laundry facilities are provided. Many campsites are located on the water. All right, so you get the idea about uh, Port Soto a little bit. So as we walk back outside, and you walk outside of the museum here, there's a trail down there, right there. And it's a self-guided trail and it takes you through some where the old buildings used to be. So come out and check it out here at Fort Soto. It's been a day and um, I think you'll enjoy it. Bring the family and also it's on the beach so you can play. There's plenty of swimming and there's a big pier out here also for fishing. All right, we'll see you at the next adventure.